A sidewalker is an integral part of the RDA team. Without them, RDA groups can't deliver a safe and effective program for the rider. As a sidewalker, your most important role is the rider's safety. This may involve specific holds or watching the rider. You also assist the coach or therapist by repeating their instructions, guiding the rider's hands, or focusing the rider's attention on the task they're doing. When you arrive, everyone can be busy preparing horses, setting up the arena. Your first job is to find out which rider you've been assigned. Read their information cards so that you know their goals for the lesson. Review the lesson plan and attend the briefing held by the coach. Don't be afraid to ask the coach or therapist if you have any questions and require more information. Every rider must wear a helmet when on the horse, unless their doctor or therapist says not to. Select the correct helmet for the rider and check that the helmet is in good condition. Place it on the rider's head, check that it's not too loose and fasten under their chin, and tension the side adjusters. Be careful not to pinch the rider under their chin. When assisting, follow the directions of the coach, therapist or person in charge of the mounting. When the rider is mounting, stand on the offside ramp. This is so you can help with bringing the rider's leg over the rump of the horse and guide and stabilize their hips. Place the rider's foot in the stirrup and make sure you support the rider when leaving the mounting ramp. Stabilize the rider on the saddle or pad before moving away from the ramp. When you're safely away from the ramp, halt the horse and check the rider's position, stirrup length and make any adjustments required. Here we see an example of a single arm hold. The sidewalker places their arm that is closest to the rider over the rider's thigh at the level of their hip. Hold the horse's gear, saddle flap or pad so that they can keep up with the horse and rider's movement. Care is taken not to place your hand through the handle of a floppy or fixed handle surcingle. The elbow is lifted so that you're not putting pressure on the horse or the rider and the hold can be graded to suit the rider's balance by applying more or less pressure. The sidewalker's elbow is no higher than the height of their shoulder, else they could suffer a painful shoulder injury. As with the single hold, your nearest arm is placed over the rider's thigh, while the outside hand gives added support to the rider's ankle. Try to avoid gripping the ankle as this may cause bruising. This hold gives the rider added support, and by holding the lower leg, it's possible to assist the leg into a correct riding position. Trotting can be fun for the rider, arousing their interest and refocusing them. It can be used as a reward. When trotting, the sidewalker holds the lower leg back. This helps the rider to maintain a correct position. The sidewalkers adjust their stride to keep pace with the horse so as not to get left behind. Sidewalkers need a good level of fitness.
Visual hold literally means to hold the rider with your eye. The sidewalker keeps a close eye on the rider. Keep the rider in your field of vision. It's really easy to lose concentration. Watch the rider doesn't lose their balance and be ready to assist should the need arise. Know how your rider dismounts. Here we see an example of a leg over rump dismount. As the sidewalker follows the directions of the coach, the offside sidewalker checks the rider's foot is out of the stirrup. Encourage the rider to lean forward, place their hands on the neck of the horse. Remember to bend their knee, careful that you don't pull their leg out sideways. Once the rider has dismounted, move to the horse's shoulder. If you're receiving the rider, take a well-balanced stance and support the rider so they don't fall under the horse.